I do want to let you know that um, the there is a link to the presentation from the uh, this mission page. So if you click there, you'll find yourself um, at the file for uh, Wikimedia Commons. And let me go ahead and launch in. So this is properties and Wikidata for writer and artist biographies. I realized I've concentrated mostly on uh, writer biographies in this presentation, but I will, uh, there's a couple artists that at the end, we're just going to get, I'll go off script with it because they, um, they pose some uh, different problems and are directly addressed by this. Okay, so what is authority control? Um, so here we have the uh, template for authority control um, in uh, the, the item record in Wikidata. And you will see um, that it appears in many different languages. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'll click here to bring up. Um, now obviously, it takes a little while to load. This is the English template or template for uh, uh, authority control in English Wikipedia. <clears throat> Do we have uh, any, you know, just one moment, I want to pull open, see if, I know we have some uh, attendees online and I just want to, you know, get, uh, get things open there so I can see their, their chat in case they have any questions. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, there's something going on with the Zoom. Do you think you can turn on your video? I want to turn the spotlight too. Okay. Uh, let me do that. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oops, come back here. Start video. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's more than one way to do things sometimes. All right. Uh, okay, back to this. Um, Okay, do we have any English, I excuse me, any Spanish or French speakers in the room? French, any Spanish? Okay, so we should go uh, view um, those uh, templates as well. So first is Spanish. Um, and Okay, sorry that didn't come up like I was planning, but let me go back. All right. Okay, so here is the this uh, Spanish template. There's not a whole lot of documentation with this, sorry, but maybe you can improve it. Um, okay, and let me go to the French. And part of the reason I mentioned this is because they are structured a bit differently. Um, and we'll see that in, in a moment, but but you, there's the documentation for the French. Um, so at least the English and the French templates are uh, well documented. Okay. And so uh, this is the list of the uh, authority control properties. And you can see that there is quite a, a number of them. Uh, the heavy hitter here is actually the very one that's last listed, that 4.30, the VAF, um, because often that will lead as uh, a means to get to the other um, authority control identifiers. And as you can see, on, on if, you, if you go to uh, the Wiki Project, uh, if you go to these links, each of these will have links that you can go to to look at that further. Now, any image I have in here is not uh, a live uh, link, but these these are live links. <clears throat> I, I wrote this in uh, LibreOffice uh, Impress, which has the capability of exporting to PDFs with live links. Okay, so uh, as I mentioned, the big one here, uh, here is the VIAF, the Virtual um, International Authority File. Um, 
So th this is a really important one. If you can find a entry in uh, the IAF for somebody, that is going to really help you out. Um, and you can see, um, you know, the statistics that there, these are the most um, over here on the lower right are the most utilized VIF related IDs in there. So GMD is the German national database uh, for biographies. LC is Library Congress. Um, NTA, I believe, is the Australian. Um, IDF and BNF are French. Um, and by French, I, I mean in France. Um, and I, I know, you know, Canada has its own system as well. Um, there is also um, something called uh, WorldCat Entities. So some of you may be familiar with WorldCat Identities, which has become, it's been deprecated. Um, and a lot of those entries have simply disappeared. If you went to Wikidata today, found the uh, WorldCat Identity link, um, it'll and clicked on it, you would either be brought to the WorldCat Entity record for that item, or you would end up with not found. Um, so this is what the World Cat Indies page looks like. We will be, uh, we'll return to that um, in a moment. So I wanted to show you some examples of, you know, the external identifiers, but a lot of these are considered authority control. So uh, Diana Ozone, she is um, basically kind of a punk poet, uh, gallery owner, uh, writer, uh, punk music performer in Amsterdam. So this is her record, but let me scroll down. And now we're into identifiers. Now you see actually Wikidata Sorry, scroll down a little too quick. Um, puts the IAF ID first. And there's a reason for that because it is such a big player. But you will see here we have Library of Congress, the uh, Library, uh, Libraries Australia. Um, we have the Dutch National Library. Uh, we have the WorldCat Entities ID. Um, and it kind of goes on a little bit, but after that, you, you know, these are other external identifiers that, you know, you can put in for social media. So don't overlook those, but the purpose of this is we are really looking at um, the authority control first. So let me go back to the slide and, oh, let me go to Reasonator. So Reasonator, and actually I can get to it a, a different path. Yes. Sure, I will do that. Um, and yes, I'm sorry that I have been putting in uh, my default, uh, what I, the magnification I use. Um, let me just scroll down so you can, can see those again. Uh, quick glance at that and you can see that now, right? Let me now go to uh, Reasonator because whereas Wikidata, th this is the input interface. Sometimes it's nice to be able to see it um, in a different interface when you're presenting it to somebody. So, you know, here is, is a collection of the <clears throat> The, the properties from Wikidata, but presented in a, a more digestible format. And over here on the right are all the external identifiers, and you can see there's quite a few for, um, for her. So let's see what that uh, translates to. On Now, there's only one article in any language, and that's in the Dutch language for this. So I will... I, but let, let's take a look. So you see there, this is, is not expanded, but we'll expand it. And you see, you know, 
these things that are popping up in terms of the uh, <clears throat> um, the con not only the authority control, but we have a couple others uh, external identifiers in here. So this is how the Dutch Wikipedia structures theirs. Let's go to another uh, writer. Uh, Rene Vivian, does anybody know who this is? So this was the, uh, an English uh, uh, woman who fell in love with the French language, um, moved to, to Paris, wrote extensively in France, and was also part of the lesbian community uh, that was just after the turn of century. I think they call that uh, time the Belle Epoch. Um, so let's take a look at her. Um, and as you can see, there's a lot of languages that uh, have articles about her. But let me scroll down to these. And again, you know, there's the VIAF, there's uh, the ISNI is uh, also, it's kind of related to the VIAF, but it's meant to be a standard numerical identifier for, for individuals. Um, and as you can see, she's this, the, uh, Renee Vivian is in a, a lot of uh, authority controls. There we see the Canadiana name authority, um, FAST ID, National Library of uh, Korea. We have a question. Yes. They really kind of don't need references for these. That's usually because they have been loaded from another. So in this case, we have this, somebody happened. Uh, when this article, uh, when this Wikidata item was uh, created, it probably pulled the Library of Congress Authority ID, uh, ID from the German Wikipedia. So it's going to state where it came from. But one thing I will also say about this, it's, good to look at, at the records sometimes because sometimes they will have important information like birth date, nationality, uh, perhaps a birthplace. And then they can be used um, as references up here. Now, my guess is, is most of these, well, we have imports. So this, anything that is uh, imported from another Wikipedia for the purpose of English Wikipedia, we, English Wikipedia is not going to accept that as a reference. If you have a info box that you're pulling in from uh, Wikidata in English Wikipedia, English Wikipedia wants it to be, have a valid reference. Uh, so for instance, for sexual uh, orientation, there will be other references. So this, if we had an info box that had sexual orientation, it would pull it into there. Um, but the important ones are generally things like, uh, you know, place of birth. So this would get pulled in. Date of birth, that's well documented. Okay, so right here is come, I'm coming to my point. Um, if you have a birth date in an authority control record, you can use that to reference the date of birth in Wikidata, and then that would justify that getting pulled into uh, English Wikipedia. Um, let me again go give this, show you this in a more digestible format at Reasonator. Okay, and we can see here on the right, they have all the external sources. And if you were to go compare this to the um, authority control that's listed uh, in Wikidata, you would see that th this has got quite a substantial amount of uh, authority control sources. So what's this look like back in Wikipedia? So I'm going to pull up English Wikipedia, and we'll go ahead and navigate from there uh, to French Wikipedia. So, yeah, so you can see 
here, you know, the authority control database. I will mention if you're doing a draft article, so what, what is happening in the main uh, space is it's connected to the Wikidata item. So well, you put in authority control as a template and it pulls directly uh, from Wikidata. If you're working on a new article in the draft namespace, it won't automatically do this. However, you can do, um, you can put in an undocumented parameter called QID and uh, put in the QID for the Wikidata and it will pull in the authority control databases, um, at least in English Wikipedia, that's helpful for me because if I'm trying to establish a notability, you know, yes, you have to rely on citations, but this is, has a big psychological effect, right? If somebody's showing up in, you know, multiple authority control databases, it's a pretty good bet that they're a notable person. Um, let me scroll up so we can see what this looks like in some of the other languages. Okay, and that typically is at the end. And this is something that could probably be added to the French Wikipedia article. I don't see it in here. Let's see if the Spanish has it. Okay, Spanish does have it. So there you see, um, and it looks like they pull in a little bit more uh, external identifiers than uh, English Wikipedia does. Um, but it's this is part of the reason it's really helpful to you know think about some of these smaller language Wikipedias. So you know if you I don't I I this this is kind of winging it a little bit. I do not know if it would show up necessarily in Arabic whether they put in the authority controls there. Let's just check. There it is. There's the authority control in Arabic. So getting back to my point, why are these important? It's because you are contributing essentially not to one language Wikipedia. You're, you have the potential for contributing to many languages. All right, so let me move on here. So uh, this is a, a woman who does not have an article in Wikipedia. Um, I came across her from this. Uh, so let's see, you know, she is actually this woman here. So Chicano feminist historian, she is uh, American. Uh, but let me go back. She does have a, uh, an item in. So let's take a look at that item. And because we know that the authority control is at the bottom, we go down there. There's nothing for her. So can we find something for her? Well, yes. Let's click on the VIAF. So you see, uh, there's actually multiple records there. And do I know that they are the same person? So uh, Antonio Castaneda and Antonio Castaneda Schuller. Uh, so does anybody know about how Spanish names work? And yes, I have a link to the English article, Spanish Naming Customs. So, you know, uh, and I'm just going to read a little bit of, of this. I don't know if it's visible, but the second sentence says they are, you know, basically Spanish names are composed of a given name and two surnames. Traditionally, the first surname is the father's first surname and the second is the mother's first surname. Um, so uh, where else did I see this? Um, okay, next paragraph. The practice is to use one given name and the first surname. So going back to this VAF record, sorry, I can be reasonably sure 
that this is the same person. It's just that the records have, uh, some records have both her um, surnames and the other record, uh, the first record only has her patronomial surname. So the, you know, these are things that are important when you're dealing with somebody who has a Spanish name. Let me go ahead and click on this. Uh, and this gives a lot of information. Um, so we see we have an, a, you know, a good number of um, databases. So the first thing we're going to do is let's grab that number and let's go back to the record. And now you're going to see my work, you know, a workflow for adding this. And you might, I might see some, some things where it throws an error. I hope you do, actually, so we can talk about that. So it's just, actually, I'm going to open up a bunch of these. And I'm just going to pull that record into a separate window. Okay, so ISNI, I can just copy this. Sorry, didn't quite grab it fully. Or I could have grabbed it from here. That's actually probably easier. And let me go ahead and expand that. As things have gone along, um, Wikidata has gotten better about accepting some inputs. It used to require this to have the spaces in between every fourth, uh, every four digits. Uh, okay, I got that one. Can get rid of that. All right. I am not sure whether this requires the N. Yeah, I will take out the space. Generally, the identifiers do not. Or which one was that? <laughs> Uh, new cut. Okay. Oh, I grabbed. I think I. Um, nope. Sorry, I didn't grab. I did not grab the. Let me just I grab the whole string. Okay. Try this again. And by the way, if I mistakenly put in that previous um, value would have probably given me a warning. So this is, you know, it's a little bit rote what I'm doing, but this, this, I, I believe this is really becomes valuable in, in terms of the other um, Wikipedias. That was K R O. Sorry, and I did, sorry, I should be paying attention, K-A-O-O, -O, C A O O. Canadiana naming authority, so good, we're getting that. Okay, I was just gonna, I'm gonna go back to that record and make sure that that was, yes, nice, so that's three, so. Oh, and here we, we notice an error, right? If you put something in wrong, it, it gives you a warning and says, hey, you've done the wrong format. And uh, so it's, 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 which is a good thing, right? If you put in the wrong thing, um, it's nice that you get a warning so you can go uh, correct that right away. Actually, let me close out that one. Okay, so this is Library of Congress. And again, this is, you're going to omit this, <clears throat> omit this space. Even though it says Elsie, I know that it's actually the Library of Congress 
ID. Okay, and it's throwing an error for some, should match the regex. Yeah, um, well, it's got the end. Uh, the last number, did I not, did I not? I am, you know, this, this is one of the challenges of presenting because I'm not paying attention to this as, as well as I should have. <clears throat> But again, you know, Wikidata is going to uh, help. And actually, I guess I should be just going up here. So G9U, it's the National Library of Israel. Oh, so DNB, that is actually, I think, going to translate to the GND. So, as I said, so it's like the Ducha, uh, I forget what the German word for national is, but the Beast is their word for biography, um, but they call it a GNDID. So you see, there, it, Wikidata knows a lot about these identifiers. So it's it's um, a relatively friendly system. I'm pretty sure this is going to say I should have a la label at least in germ in the German language. We can worry about that later. Um, okay. Uh, if, Okay, and then we, we have the French uh, National Biography Database, I believe, BNF. Okay, so Bibliotech, I got the, got the acronym wrong here, but okay, let's see what error there. Should match the regex. One, two, three, four. Did I miss another? Never works. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's it's matching the regex. Um, it's also a label constraint involved there. Um, so do not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's so what what you're telling me is where where should the CB go at the end or the front? Don't enter it here on the BIA. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's there's there's a mismatch. So okay, so it, this is okay. All right, so this may be incorrect. Is what I'm hearing. Then I'm going to take it out because it's better to not to have a value. I think than to have something that's just going to lead somebody somewhere that that is uh, not not a good fit. Okay, so we have some other things here. We have uh, let me open these pages. Okay, I'm going to start all the way there. But I'm glad that there are people here who know more uh, know about these authority controls. So BNCHL. Chile. Okay, and so we have a mismatch between the types somehow and because of that I'm gonna I'm going to delete this one because it's it's you know I know if I click on this it's gonna just sh show up uh, going to nowhere 
So yeah, so does not have cannot uh, you know, find it on the server. So I'm going to remove that one. And this is a little bit hit or miss, as you can see. You know, VIAF is not perfect, and I certainly am not perfect. So I sometimes mis uh, miscopy things. Now, this is an interesting thing because we have two ISN numbers for this individual. So let's see what happens when we put in another one. And, you know, I could have gone in and just uh, put an ISNI like I normally would have. But uh, since I already have this, I will try putting in another value. And let's see if it comes back with a warning or an error. It does not. We're getting towards the tail end of this. Okay, this happens to be obsolete, but we have it. And what does this say? Should match a regex. Um, okay, again, we don't have a match. That's, um, but what you can do sometimes, let me go. And I think this is one worth worth chasing a little bit to show you something. Ah, so this is going to the Internet Archive. Okay, and I'm just sort of curious if we stick an R in front there, whether we get anything. Okay, so this is, is a bad number that they've given us. So we will, whoops, okay. Figure out what, what how I close this page. Ah, okay, there we go. All right, so we're going to remove that one. Sometimes you will find that you don't have a proper format for something, and you click on it and you go to the site. Well, search on the site for that individual because that a lot of times you can get the number that way. Okay, we've got a couple more. So NTA, I believe that's the Dutch. Is that Dutch or Australian? Excuse me. <laughs> I think it's Australian. No, it's Dutch. And this is probably one, right. So we see once the Dutch language label And we're back to, to there. Um, you know, there's a couple other things in here. We have a U.S. entry, so and this, this one is actually for works. Um, but we have one more record that we can look at. Boy, I'm not, I'm totally unfamiliar with LIH. My guess is it's a... Uh, Lithuanian database, perhaps. Yeah, Andrew. 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 Yes. Uh, this is an unusual uh, naming format, so I'm not sure if it will take. Okay, so we have a problem there. But let's go ahead and go there and see if, okay, ah, okay. So some of the records uh, for some of these databases are actually states stored at VIH. So I'm not, I'm not hopeful that we could correct this one. So we're just gonna remove it. Okay, and uh, let me just refresh because that'll put things in order. But again, we will, take a look at um, the Reasonator. 
And now we see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine authority controls that were not, didn't simply exist on this record. So, um, yeah, now when when, when somebody uh, puts this in, you know, a draft article or an article, these will show up. And these, you know, like I said, this is, is kind of basically a more, an indication of more notability. So let me back out here. Um, and oh, WorldCat in. So let's let's go ahead and get those. So we have two WorldCat entities. Okay, and if I do. <clears throat> okay, so let me excuse me as I figure my way out around this. Okay. So even though there's a copy URI here, that's not what you want. You want just this portion. Sorry. <clears throat> but you know, this is this is something as you can see, this is all pretty easy to do. Um it still kind of defaults to WorldCat identities, but um, you can get to WorldCat identity I, entities. I'm going to add one more because we had one more. So now this is going to give us a dozen. And I'm curious with this, whether it was, it's going to throw an error for having two, we will see. Okay, so it says it should have, now here's a, here's a, a, a how should I put it, a, 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 a problem that, you know, you have, this should take a single value constraint, yet we know that both these values are, um, are present and valid. What I do in this case is I leave it because yeah, you might say this is this is a potential problem, but I know I've done my research. It's it's this is the reality. Um, so let's go back again to Reasonator. Yeah, you know, so we see we have a lot more. <clears throat> um, obviously a lot of things uh, that were not there before. Um, just, and then going back, I don't know if this will solve the problem. Um, the, there's now a default label. Um, it's supposed to be Roman, uh, Latin, a Latinized label. Um, so this would be for essentially all the Romance languages plus anything else that had Latin. Um, I will also note that we had another name that has not been put in. Oops, sorry. So let's enter that as an alias. And let's enter the the more simplified version. I kind of cringe whenever I take take that uh, diacritical out, but but we are trying to get more of a universal look to it. My guess is that still didn't take care of the problem with the languages, but um, the, this this default for all languages is something new. It's a work in progress. Okay, so I think that um, that is the last slide. So, but let me uh, get out of that, close that out. What happens if you have somebody who is not in an authority, uh, like an authority control? So, uh, there were, uh, the first presentation I was in today uh, was uh, 
involved somebody, a Wikimedian in reference at the Perez Museum. And she popped up a couple of artists. Uh, Antonia. I, ah, I'm missing the first end. I knew that walked wrong. And last name of Wright. Uh, there are a couple hits on that, but I know I'm looking for the installation artist. So, and th this person has a couple of uh, language Wikipedia articles. However, you know, the only um, identifier is the Google Knowledge Graph ID. So, and I happen to know from doing this earlier, but I will show you anyway. I don't think things have changed in the last couple of hours, um, but these are, well, wait a minute, hang on. Let me take a look at that. Uh, I might've gotten a hit on this. Let me check this. Okay, I'm trying to see see the date that's associated with this person because I want to make sure we get this right. Okay, so this person did something in 1970, so it's not the person. So I, so the, you know, this is one of the investigations you have to do right because when you have more than one person so i'm assuming that uh and because i know that this antonio fernanda paca de alameda right is not the person i'm looking for both records have no relevance for me so let's uh take that string all is not lost sometimes we can find and let me, I'm just going to scroll down here and do next because I know because of my settings that I, I will pull up a longer list. So you go through here and see, you know, if you can recognize an external identifier. Why am I doing this? Because I did this earlier. And I did find one. Um, actually, there's a, others, but let's concentrate on this one. This is not authority control, but it is an external identifier. It's uh, mutual.art or mutualart.com. And um, just copy that number. So if I go back to uh, get to the right screen here. So I can add that. Um, this is not the only place. Obviously, uh, you know, Google will have some stuff and obviously will we'll not have other things. We can do a new. Uh, are you are you all familiar with the Wikipedia library? And I'm not, I, I've checked for these artists in the Wikipedia library. Um, and I did find a couple artists, uh, articles for the other artist, um, but no identifiers. But I do want to point out in here that um, we scroll down, we get to uh, things like Oxford biographies, Oxford Biograph Dictionary of National Biography. Uh, the Oxford Art Online. So you want, if you have a Wikipedia library account, and does everybody know about the Wikipedia library? Okay. I see one person who's shaking her head no. So I will say, uh, I will, uh, the Wikipedia library is something that's available to somebody who is uh, essentially uh, uh, extended confirmed. That means you have 500 edits. Um, and uh, you have had to edit it a little bit in the last, um, I forget which time period it is, 
Uh, actually, let me let me go to something more a better page for this. Ah, keep thinking I'm already in Wikipedia. So. Wikipedia library, and that'll have the uh, you know, the criteria somewhere in here. 500 edits, and you have to, so you have to be at least six months old, 500 edits. Uh, I believe that there may also be a criteria that requires you to, have, to be an active editor. And again, when you go in there, uh, you, you have access to their there are many resources in here. Some of them are authority control. Like when we go back, uh, go down to uh, the Oxford Art Online, I think Oxford has a couple authority controls. Um, and since I closed closed out my slides, I, uh, I can't go back and look at that uh, without some navigation. But th anyway, this is this I've shown you something about my workflow for adding authority control and external identifiers uh, to Wikidata items and I encourage you to try it and play with it and uh, um, because again it, it really uh, getting it into Wikidata uh, is is a multiplier effect because it gets you across not only um, multiple languages um, but if you have a Wikidata info box for a category for that artist on commons, it, those identifiers will also show up on commons. Any questions, comments? Thank you. Well, we do have one note here. I'm sorry, I uh, missed it. Uh, from uh, Susan Lynch, who says I use VIF often. I'm curious who or what automated process that it's VIF to add the Wikidata QIDs to VIF. I really don't have an answer for that. I know that um, some of that um, is done through uh, WorldCat and OCLC. So, for instance, if uh, that world cat entity often will have a Wikidata item attached to it, but there clearly there's some librarian somewhere who's, who's doing the hard work of linking this data. So link, linked online data, um, it's largely librarians who are responsible for that. And my thanks to those people for all the hard work they do. Um, and, and helping us to do that. Obviously, we are also helping that effort whenever we add an external identifier to a Wikidata item. Okay, I'm going to. So, Susan, I hope that answered your question. And I will mark that as done. Yes. Yes, they're also involved in ISNI um, and. Um, yeah, it's a WorldCat is in OCLC are, are great. Um, I don't know if people are familiar with the history of the online com online computer library center, um, but um, they started. Um, I'm trying to remember when they started. Uh, I'd have to go look at their Wikipedia art, but they really kind of started to help uh, with interlibrary lo uh, loan. And uh, curiously enough, they were put up um, as a prototype. And uh, and then they said, oh, thank you very much for your, your input into this. We're gonna take it now and, and down, down now and rewrite it. And the libraries who were using it freaked out. They said, no, you can't take it down. It's become a vital part of, of what we do. Um, so they, did leave it back up and slowly uh, improved the system in incrementally. Um, and then um, they uh, they started WorldCat as a, you know, internet facing um, way of accessing that data. And 
then there was another system called Arlen, which was, the, I think it was the Research Libraries Information Network um, that was the meadow catalog that you, research universities shared. And that merged with OCLC and brought they brought those records into WorldCat. So World, if you're not using WorldCat, it's a wonderful uh, resource to use and I encourage you to use that as well. Okay, I think we're done. You're welcome.